Hey guys, what's up? This is Technic Fox, and today in Technic Fox, we are gonna look at how to open or view images like this in your command prompt. And if you guys don't know what a command prompt is, a command prompt is basically an application which is defaultly available in your Windows operating system, where you can type in some commands and you can execute some work. So it's basically an interface between the user and an operating system. So that that's a command prompt. So in that command prompt we'll see how to open images like this before that you need an image so I got an image here your image might like it may be in any format for example it might be in .png format .jpg .bmp any format no matter what format is that but here I'm gonna use an image with .png extension okay so so I'm gonna open this particular image in my uh, command prompt okay so for that you need to go to a website called textimage.com so this is the web website text-image.com so this is the website where you need to go so let's go okay so this is that particular website okay now you need to go to the convert section and in that convert section you can see you can create HTML files you can also create matrix and you can create ASCII files okay but now we are gonna choose the ASCII file or ASCII conversion okay now everything you can leave it as default like this now you need to choose the file so mine is in D drive and it's in new folder right yeah there it is okay so I'm gonna select my file after selecting the file you can just give convert you need to wait for some time it depends on your internet speed okay so the result is this uh, image so my my normally my image was like my image was this one uh, which is dot png extension and after conversion your image will look like this okay now select the entire image only the image then you need to click or you need to copy this image control C once you have copied the image you need to open up the notepad or any default uh, text editor you wish to do so type the command what I'm gonna tell you now so at first you need to type at echo off echo at echo off then uh, you need to type you need to give a title for your batch application for that you need to specify with a command called title then you need to give any title you want mine is Tekronic Fox yeah. so once you have done that you need to you know specify the color for that you need to type the command as c-o-l-o-r which is color then you can give for example I'm giving it as 0 a so the first one is the background color which is 0 and a is the uh, your font color so which means 0 a means it's gonna print it in the combination of black and green which will give an effect of matrix you know matrix effect so once you've done that then the next step is you are gonna copy the uh, image that you have selected from that website so I have copied that image okay now uh, remember uh, to print something on the command or uh, command prompt you need to type uh, echo so this is the command to print something you want to you know display it in the application command prompt okay so now let me like I'm gonna display like welcome to Tekronic Fox so okay so already told you if you type echo you're gonna print something in that application so 
here also I need to print each and every line so I need to print this line I need to print this line I need to print this line so I need to print every line every single line so what do you need to do is you need to type echo in uh, all you know every single line okay so type echo all right guys so after typing echo in every single line what you're gonna do is you're gonna uh, type pause at the last line P A U S C. Uh, you need to type this because only then your application will uh, stay on the screen for you know it will flash the image for some period of time um, until a user presses any key okay so you need to type that command if you're not typing a uh, pause command then what happens is your uh, application will flash the image for a fraction of a second and it, it will close the image you don't need that so after you're done that you need to save the file so you can save the file at the location you want so I'm gonna save it in D drive new folder and you can give any uh, name to your file I'm gonna give Fox and remember you need to save the file in dot bat extension dot bat which stands for dot batch file and you need to save it as the you know all files because only when you give all files it's gonna save this particular uh, file as dot bat then save it okay once you have saved the file now this is the file you can double click to open it and there you go so this is how you will open an image in command prompt using dot bat files thanks for watching please do share like and subscribe